I've just opened the audio meter LabVIEW project. Let me direct you to the VI for the bar graph decoder that has been constructed based on a ROM or read-only memory device. Here we have the front panel. Let's also take a look at the block diagram. And as usual, we begin with the three slide switches on the FPGA development board. I need to convert these into a 3-bit bus and then interpret that result as an unsigned integer. So at this point, the 3-bit bus appears as an integer value, which serves as the address into the ROM lookup table that produces an 8-bit data result. This is then viewed as an 8-bit bus that allows the individual values to be pulled off and directed to the appropriate FPGA output pins. The ROM lookup table device, or the ROM in general, is a synchronous ROM and it has an embedded register. And for this to operate properly within the single cycle timed loop, the feedback node is required directly on the output. And you can refer to the help pages for the ROM to learn a little bit more details. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the construction details here. To create the 3-bit bus from the discrete Boolean signals, the build array node works just fine and you can resize that as needed to expose the appropriate number of inputs. Once we have a Boolean array, we can interpret that as a numerical value. So again, it's important to realize that on the FPGA itself, this is not an, an additional operation or additional piece of hardware, but rather inside our VI, we are able to interpret that as a numerical value. The feedback node defaults to uh, pointing to the left and you can flip that around so it points to the right as, as we need it to in this case. The numerical value can be converted back to an array. The array then, in order for us to be able to access the individual elements is first viewed as a cluster and then we can use unbundle by name to pull off the individual bits. And I'll mention that when you first place that everything seems fairly empty until you connect it to a source of information and you can then select the desired bits Simply by adjusting the way you resize it, you could also single click on those to pick a specific desired element. All right, let's go ahead and find out how to actually construct a ROM from scratch. You'll need to get back into the Project Explorer. You'll notice that the ROM lookup table is one element of the FPGA target devices. So I'll select the FPGA target and then pick New memory. Here's where you give it a specific name. Choose the data type and I'll do the similar thing where we needed an 8-bit output. And just to save time, supposing this ROM only has four elements. So here we see the new memory that's just been created. We can populate the ROM with values by first resetting to the default value, and then you can overtype with the desired values. And there, there's other ways to get information there if you're working with a, a much larger device. All right, once the memory exists, then we use the memory read node and we can select the desired memory. So there was the original, 
this is the one we just created. 